Even as a boy, Henry Ford enjoyed tinkering with machinery. Farm work and a job in a Detroit machine shop would give the young mechanic ample opportunity to experiment and set the path for Henry Ford's journey into the motor age. Ford worked as a part-time employee for the Westinghouse Engine Company, all the while working on his ideas for motoring. By 1896, Henry Ford had constructed his first horseless carriage. He later sold the invention in order to finance work on an improved model. Henry Ford incorporated the Ford Motor Company in 1903, saying, I will build a car for the great multitude. In October 1908, Ford's plan came to fruition, offering the Model T for $950. Ford revolutionized manufacturing. By 1914, his Highland Park, Michigan plant, using innovative production techniques, could turn out a complete chassis every 93 minutes. This was a stunning improvement over the earlier production time of 728 minutes. Using a constantly moving assembly line, subdivision of labor, and careful coordination of operations, Ford realized huge gains in productivity. After training his workforce, Ford wanted them to stay with his company. So in 1914, he began paying his employees $5 a day, almost doubling the wages offered by other manufacturers. He cut the workday from nine to eight hours in order to convert the factory to a three-shift workday. The best mechanics in Detroit flocked to Ford, bringing their expertise with them, raising productivity and lowering training costs. The Model T heralded the beginning of the motor age. The car evolved from luxury item for the well-to-do to essential transportation for the ordinary man. In the Model T's 19 years of production, its price dipped as low as $280. Nearly 15,500,000 were sold in the United States alone. During World War I, Ford became highly critical of those he felt financed war. He felt time was better spent making things. In 1915, Henry Ford agreed to fund a peace ship to Europe for himself and other prominent peace leaders. The trip was controversial and attracted ridicule. He also disagreed with US involvement in World War II and left dealings with the War Production Board to his son, Edsel. Ford altered American society. Urbanization patterns changed with the growth of suburbia, and today the cars are still rolling off the assembly line. Bringing it all together and seeing the finished product and going out that door is, is absolutely phenomenal. I, I just love the, the assembly of these vehicles. As more Americans owned cars, the national highway system was created. Henry Ford gave the population the possibility of going anywhere, anytime. Henry Ford witnessed many of these changes during his lifetime. And while he was the father of modern assembly lines, the creator of mass production, and the man who revolutionized transportation, he longed for the simpler lifestyle of his youth. He is remembered as a genius, perhaps an eccentric, with controversial social attitudes and political views. Henry Ford invented the affordable car, paid higher wages, and helped create a middle class, and went on to become the father of 20th century American industry. <laughs>